All right, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna talk about kinematics, which is just a fancy word to talk about the behavior of a moving object over time. So kinematics is often a physics concept where we're just looking at how an object behaves without too many forces acting on it. And in our case, just in one dimension, since we're working with just a single variable. So an object that's moving along a straight line in some direction, it could be straight up in the air, it could be straight along a surface, it's just moving in a single direction. So for kinematics, we start with the position function, S of t, where S of t gives you the position and it has an input of time. So it tells you the position after some amount of time. And the position is measured as a distance. So you can think feet or meters or miles. It's just how far the object has traveled. I should mention, I'm doing this very casually. I'm just sort of trying to give you the basics of kinematics. So you've seen a little bit before you encounter it in a different course or a different setting. So next we can take the derivative of the position and this is actually the velocity. So let's think about why that's happening. So if we're taking the derivative of s with respect to time, we're looking at the change in position over time. So we're looking at the distance per unit time, which you could think of like miles per hour or feet per second. We're looking at how the position changes over time. That's the velocity. Here, velocity can be positive or negative. I like to think of positive as meaning it's gaining distance from the original starting point, and negative as meaning it's getting closer to the original starting point. And the units for velocity will then be a distance over time, like I already mentioned, miles per hour, feet per second, meters per second, something like that. Then we can take the second derivative of the position, that would be the derivative of the velocity, and that gives us the acceleration. So why does this happen? If we take the second derivative of the position with respect to time, the derivative of the velocity, if this is the change in velocity with respect to time, this is how much the velocity is changing every moment. So if we are increasing our velocity, that would be a positive acceleration. If the velocity is decreasing, that would be a negative acceleration. I think driving a car is the simplest way to think about this. When you're speeding up, the velocity is increasing, you're accelerating, and when you're slowing down, the velocity is decreasing, so you are decelerating. And here are the units, if we're taking a velocity and dividing it by time, we have the distance over time, those are the velocity units, divided by time, and with some maneuvering of the fractions, we get distance over time squared. So you'll probably see feet per second squared or meters per second squared. So the main things to learn here, and really the point of this video, is just that if we start with the position, we can take its derivative and we get the velocity, and we could take the derivative again to get the acceleration. So position, velocity, and acceleration are related together with the derivative, and they help us understand the behavior of a moving object over time, which is kinematics. In the next video, I will go through some examples of what this looks like using some calculus. But for now, this is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.